Hell yeah, me too. This is so exciting. We got a hella full list right now. It is like, I think, uh, 30, 30 names. So that's so exciting. And we got people from all over the community, you know, um, you know, coaches, I think may maybe some parents. Um, we got every everybody is here to share their voices and, and that's really exciting. So thank you for coming here. I think it's a, a real awesome part of the festival that we get to have a non-competitive poetry reading right now, right here. And let's be as excited for that as we are for the competition part, because that's just kind of silly anyway, right? So uh, let's do some call and response. When I say spoken, y'all say words. Spoken, words. spoken. Words. When I say louder than a, y'all say a bomb is louder than a, louder than a, louder than a, louder than a. Hell yeah, awesome. Okay, <laughs> word. Um, so I'm gonna kick things off for y'all real quick, um, and then we're just just gonna jump right into it and go and go pretty fast. So. Um, this is a piece y'all might know. It is uh, not by me. It's by the MC Dennison Kane of Typical Cat, Chicago Hip Hop Crew. It's a piece called What She Thought Hops. It goes... Poetry is the language of imagination. Poetry is a form of positive creation. Difficult, isn't it? The point? You're missing it. Rockin's kinda new to me, cause my true love is poetry. I don't know what she thought, Hops, but Chief, I've got tall props. See, this be the rebuttal version to Mr. Academic who does not believe that my poems would, could, should have muscles and bodies like this one. I want my poem to be brazen and long-legged and squash mud under a hard yellow heel's wicked gravity. Yeah. I wish to leave this lab of brains swishing in jars and write poems that shatter glass with undeniable bodies. I want to be a word that wants to be a sweating brick, so drink that through your pointed teeth and critique it. I want to be the strophe that strokes the ear in salty heaves, a spine that bends and works like the dance you shut the door to be. Listen to me with your hips. Mm. Clutch this line in the fleshy grip of bold thighs. Eat through your ears and drink through your pores. And if you see me splashed across a page, know that a leaf is a tongue that you wear to make love to a voice not your own. Eat this poem, floss with the barbed length of a simile and scrape your tongue across the living verses, bristling skin. My eye is just my eye, I promise. I believe in closure, but not in hospital corners. The way first principles are real, but untraceable. See, God is meaning, means becoming, means I knock before I come in. Means I wriggle through the riddle of the flesh to outsweat it. Means I wear my impertinence upon my fluttering lip, my refusal to bow out to some abstract curtain and exist backstage by the sandbags and pulleys. Hell no, I exist to be seen, to see and be seen, to push my eye to the thou, because the premise of my rhythm is the unapologetic, emphatic insistence of the declarative sentence. That's right, bad boy. I am, I is, I be. Forget you, I can speak about myself in rhyming couplets if I want to. I am, I is, I be, I do, I self, I delve, I solo, I dolo, is, 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 I, I, I. And my mother's talk stories from beginning to end. Listen to this poem with your hips. Yeah. All right, thank you, Louder Than a Bomb Camden. If you're having a good day today, make some noise! Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. So like I said, we got a lot of names, so we're just going to 